All right, let's get this African campaign started. All right, so I have to make a little confession here. I have not played an actual counter and hex war game in many years. Uh, when I first started playing games, this is all I played forever. Then, of course, I got into role-playing games, board games, and I did that forever. One of the reasons I started this channel was because I need to play more games, I need to paint more miniatures, and definitely I need to play more war games. I have plenty. A lot of them I haven't played in years. It seems like recently, if I do play a war game, it's been, you know, like the the more of the card driven solo type war games and not so much you know the old fashioned uh, counter and hex map war games of course everyone knows this is the african campaign signature edition uh second edition and i just recently got it on kickstarter so we're gonna try this baby out all right, now what I'm going to do is I'm not going to play this game, you know, so much like a, a, an a, the actual campaign, the actual war experience. It's a game. I'm going to try to win the, the damn game. So there are different uh, ways to win the game. For the Axis to win the game, they have to somehow get a total of 12 uh, military points off the eastern edge of Egypt and they must keep those units in supply for one full month which is two turns. One of the things that they must do of course in keeping this in supply is at least back to to Brook. Um, I think that's uh, a hard thing for them to do. I don't know if they're going to be able to do that. But we're going to try. For the allies, all they have to do is survive through the whole 50 turn game. And at the end of the 50th turn, they must control Tobruk. Or they can just wipe out the Axis army and win the game that way. I think if none of those things come to fruition, then it's a draw. Historically, uh, once uh, Rommel comes onto the board, well, things start getting really hairy for the Allies. But historically, they do basically eke out the, the win um, during this campaign period. So, it starts December 1940 and goes all the way through December of 1942. All right, let's get this started. To begin with, we are going to be doing some of the optional rules, but not all of them. Uh, we aren't going to do the event chips. The event chips, I think, put a lot of color into the game, which is really cool, but it's really kind of hidden knowledge for that to be really successful. And since I'm playing this solo, I'm just not going to use that optional rule. But we will be using the other optional rules. We will be rolling for initiative. Uh, we will be doing tactical advantage, maximum effort, and determined defense throughout the game different times, if I remember. Now, if I make a mistake, please let me know in the comments. Uh, I'd love to get the, that feedback. Also, if you see during the game any strategy that I should be using or employing better, uh, please leave some comments on that for me. I would love to see that. And I will be explaining the rules, you know, as we go through the, the game. All right, so let's get this started. We're going to start turn one. Now, in turn one, the allies have the initiative. So the first thing you do is look for, in a turn, you determine initiative. Of course, in uh, 
starting on turn two will be rolling for initiative, but in turn one, the allies get the initiative. So, what do you do? Well, first, the ally player looks to their order of battle to see if they need and if anything comes in. Of course, it's the first turn. Everything for the allies is already on the map for the first turn. Also, you get to look at the turn record track. And in turn one, you see that the allies get two uh, hurricanes to utilize. So I'm going to put those right here. Now you can use the hurricanes as either a plus one to your attack value, or you can use it on the other side and use it as an interdiction. So during your movement phase, you can assign any of these, uh, this air support, the hurricanes, you use them as close support. You can put them on a unit and then that prevents the unit from moving during their movement phase at full movement. They can only move at half of their movement phase, uh, movement amount during that phase. And no units can stack with those units while they're under interdiction. And they, of course, they can't use their strategic movement. Strategic movement, of course, being, being doubled. So I have two hurricanes to begin with this turn. And what am I going to do with them? Well... Hmm, I think I'm going to put a hurricane. I'm going to, basically, I'm going to, with the allies, I'm going to blitz them. I'm going to try to take out as many units as I can. I'm going to make a run forward to Brook as soon as possible. Hopefully I can build some type of wall around it to protect it. And then just really dampen the supply lines for the Axis. So I can, I'm looking over here, I can reach these guys. I'm probably going to, I'm going to put, you can stack these two. So I'm looking at this 5, 10, 11, 12. I'm going to put two hurricanes on this uh, Italian unit here at the 55 mile marker. Okay, that's what I'm going to do first. All right. Next, you can place minefields, but of course you can't start doing this until turn five. So we'll hold off on that. So now we get to move. So during the allied movement phase, you can move some of your units. You can move all of your units. Uh, you don't have to use any of your units. But you can move them up to their full movement phase. So their, their movement value on the chit, the seven is the offensive strength and then the, or defensive strength and the six is the movement value. So they can move up to the movement, but they can also move what's called a strategic movement. If they start their turn and they're not in a zone of control of uh, the enemy, of course, then they can actually move twice that amount. So what am I going to do? I'm going to move these babies. All right. In this stack, I have hmm, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, plus I have Monty, who is a headquarters. Oh, that's 12. I'm going to move the whole stack. So if you move along a road, each space is one fifth. So for one movement cost, you can move five spaces. I'm going to move one, two, three, four. I'm not going to move into this zone of control because I'm going to get off the road this is five. 
Now I'm on a ridge. Now once you enter a ridge, you can't just keep going through the ridge, but you can move along the ridge. So you have to stop before you cross a bridge, but you can move along the bridge. And I'm going to move there. So one, two, that was one, two, three. Now, <clears throat> here's another rule. It's called overrun. So when you move into a zone of control of another unit, let me find that rule and I'll read it to you. If a unit, an enemy, or well, a, a unit or stack of units moves next to an enemy a stack or units, the moving unit in the combat phase, if they have a nine to one or greater um, attack against that unit, then the enemy units are removed during the movement phase. This is known as overrun movement. If the movement moving unit still can continue to move, and they still have points remaining, they may continue moving and may engage in other overruns. Uh, replacement units along, alone in a hex can be automatically overrun by combat units. So, I've moved one, two, three, I'm now in the zone of control of the second Libya. It's only a one. I have seven, 12. So I'm 12 to one. That's more than nine to one. This unit gets eliminated. And I can continue to move. One, two, three. I'm going to move four. Once again. I'm more than nine to one to the Mal Malti. I, I, I'm not great at pronouncing these. He gets eliminated. So I've moved one, two, three, four, and I'm going to move five. This is not a nine to one. This is a six to one. So once, of course, you move into the zone of control of an enemy, you must stop. So that's that movement. Next, I'm going to move these guys over here. I've got 10 and I've got two replacement units in there. So I'm going to move along the road. One, two, three, four, five is one. I'm going to move one. I'm going to drop these replacements off. Two, three, four, five is two. One, two, three, four, and five is three. I'm moving into this zone of control. Now I have 10, 11, 12 to two. That's a six to one. I'm in that zone of control, so I have to stop there. I'm just going to set these like that. All right, so that's my movement. Uh, these guys here, I'm not going to move. I'm just going to leave these right here for now in Fuka. All right, let's do some combat. So after your movement phase, you go into the combat phase. All combats are now resolved by the allied player in any order that I wish. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one first. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 to 2, which is 6 to 1. So if you look over on your combat results table, we have a 6 to 1. I get to roll one die. Now, another thing that is great about uh, the first two turns, the allies get a plus 2 to their die roll. It says right here, uh, turns 1 and 2, allied player adds 2 to his combat die rolls. Very nice. Let's see what I got here. And I got a 5, which is great. 5 plus 2 is DE. DE is destroyed. I'm sorry here. That unit is destroyed. 
Now, when you destroy a unit in combat, you can have a free move into that space, which I will utilize. I'm not in any zone of control here. All right. Let's do the, we're gonna fight this one over here. Five and five is 10, two hurricane is 12, 12 to two, of course, is six to one again. Let's roll that one. I got a four plus two is six, six to one is DE is destroyed. We destroyed that one as well. Now, I don't know the rule for moving in, uh, advancing into a zone of control. So I'm not gonna do it, but if any of you know, if I advance into that empty spot now that I eliminated that unit, I'm in the zone of control of, of the first Libya. Um, I don't know what the rules are for that. I've tried to research it and couldn't really find out what I, could, what I need to do. If somebody can answer that question for me, that would be great. All right, so right now, that's the end of my turn. I'm a little extended here, but I did some damage. Now we're going into the Axis turn. All right, so the Axis, they have problems with fuel. Now, as long as they move, just make a two movement points or a four with strategic movement, they're fine. They're not going to have to use any fuel. But if they use anything more than, than two or, or the strategic movement four, then they have to use a fuel. Now, what am I going to do with these guys? I'm going to try to make a wall, I think, with these guys. I'm going to... All right. So, you can move through a pass and I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to they can move two. They're not in a zone of control. They can actually move four. I'm going to try to make a little wall here. So I'm going to move these guys one. Then I'm going to go move these guys through the Halafa Halfaya Pass. So you can go either way, as long as you go through the pass, it does count two. So now uh, that's two. Uh, I'm not in a zone of control, so I can move four. I can do a strategic movement. One, two, I'm gonna stack that here. All right, let's talk about uh, some stacking limits. So, both players may stack two divisions on one hex. So if you look on the counter, this up here, there's two X's. That is a division level. So that counts as one. There's two on this one. So that's two. That's as most, most as you can do. You can do, um, two divisions on one hex. So I'm gonna stack that one there. All right, I think I'm gonna retreat these guys here. One, two, three, four, five, one. I'll move them into Tobruk. These guys are screwed, they're gonna get destroyed. I'm going to stack them up. I'm not going to attack. I'm going to hold that road. I think I'm going to move these guys. They have a division and there's a brigade. Now they're on the road. They are not in anybody's own control. I'm going to go move them as far as I can move them. One, two, three, four, Five is one, one, two, three, four, five is two, one, two, three, four, five is three, 
one, two, three, four, five is four. I use non, uh, non strategic movement is permitted. So they got to move four. What can I do with these guys? I'm going to move them at least up to the road. One, two, three, four. All right. Actually. I move them, they can move six. So I'm on the road now, that's four. One, two, three, four, five, that's five. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna stack with them just to build them up. So I've got a division there and I have two brigades. So that's allowed, that stack is now equal to two. Now I did use six, he can move six. But since I went over that, um, I have to use one of my fuel. So that's going to use fuel. Okay. Now I've kind of got them at least stacked together to be a little bit stronger than being out there individually. And uh, there's no combat phase for them. We don't roll, for, we, we of course we had n no uh, reinforcements or anything. And you don't have to roll for replacements or the fuel table for the axis until turn three. And then you do it at the beginning of every month, three, five, seven, nine, eleven. All right, that's the end of turn one. Let's move on to turn two. Now we're In the second half of turn two. Now in turn two, we get to roll for initiative. All right, let's see what we have. So when you roll for initiative, one through four, the allied player goes first. Five through six, the axis player goes first. And we've got a three, so the allied still go first. I left it here on the allied. I could move it to the axis but we have the ally all right so first thing you do of course in the allied movement is look for replacements or withdrawals uh, there's nothing for the allies as far as replacements or re withdrawals or anything like that on turn two but again they do get two hurricanes to use so we get two hurricanes uh, minefields can't start doing minefields till turn five. So now we're into the movement phase. And what am I going to do? This this strength here is four. So 12 to four. And this is 10 to three. I think I'm gonna do the same thing I'm going to use both hurricanes on this unit here. All right, so let's do some moving. Also, I don't have anything else coming in. But on the axis, axis turn, they do. So let's finish up this turn here. These guys are going to move right here we'll start combat there these guys are gonna stay on they're on the ridge they could go off the ridge this turn but they're just going to go stay on the ridge and go here one two 
Now they're in zone of control there. They're in zone of control. These guys are going to move up a little bit. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. All right, they're going to move up here. Two replacements. All right. All right, that's the movement phase for the allies. Now we do combat. So let's do this one first. I've got a five and a five is 10 plus two. That's 12. They have a three. That's a four to one there. And remember, we're still in turn two, so I get a uh, plus two to my roll. All right, let's kill these guys. Oh, not great. Four to one is a two, plus two is four. Four to one defender loses two and has to retreat. All right, so they, they lose two steps. And if you can, you're supposed to do it equally. So this will lose a step, and this will lose a step. There is no step to lose. That one will get eliminated. This one loses a step, and now it has to retreat. Now, when you can retreat, you can retreat one or two. Um, I can read the retreat rule for you. All right, units retreat one or two hexes at the owning player's discretion, except if it's a... A DR or D number R result requires the defender to retreat two hexes unless the attacker also receives a retreat result. We, of course, didn't. They received the D2R, so they have to, they lose two um, steps and they have to retreat two. So one, two. Eh, didn't work out. Perfect, but we did uh, defeat one and then reduce this one down here. So that's pretty good. Also, since I won that battle, I can advance. I will advance into City Barani. All right, let's go over to this combat here. It's going pretty fast once you get going. So I've got 7, 11, 12, 12 to 4 is... Three to one. Three to one odds on the table over here. Still turn two, so I get plus two to my die roll. See what happens. And I got a six. Plus two, you can't get more than that. So three to one is defender loses three steps and must retreat. So we have to do equally. There's one. There's two. And one is going to be eliminated. That's that one. And we must uh, retreat two, two steps. So he's going to retreat this way. Um, one, two. Oh, not looking good. Not looking good for them. All right. That's the end of that turn. Now we're down to the Axis turn, and they do get some reinforcements. All right, so that's cool. So they get these two units coming in December, uh, the second part of December, 1914, uh, 1940. Now, these units can come in two places. They can, that sense of reinforcements, they can come in, of course, in the port of Tripoli. Now, what they do is when they come in the port of Tripoli, units enter the map at hex 0701 for two movement points. So they just enter in here and it costs them two movement points. Um, non strategic movement permitted up to the unit's full movement allowance, but fuel is then required. 
So they can come in here basically for two movement units for free, but I also can bring them into the port of Tobruk. Um, I, that's iffy because you have to roll for that. A one to three is a success, four to five is a delay and units can't move, but they may try again next turn. Or and six is sunk, which means a combat unit may enter or leave, but loses one step while replacement, uh, if you try to re bring replacements in there, they get eliminated. Uh, in Benghazi, all you can do are replacements. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring these in down here for two. All right, now I can move. Now, unfortunately, there is a non-strategic movement is permitted up to the unit's full movement, but you have to use a fuel. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna do that. I don't think I'm gonna do that. They came in for two, so they're already, they're already moved. These guys, these guys, these guys. Can't really move here. If I move into the zone of control there, I'm gonna be destroyed probably. Well, I will, there's more than nine to one there. But I can move up into the ridge. Uh, these guys. Or I can just block the road, keep the road blocked. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sacrifice these guys just to keep the road blocked. Uh, these guys. They're gonna run away. They are going to use their strategic movement. So I can move four, one, two, three, and they're gonna move into El Adem, but they're up in a, they're in a ridge now. Now when you're in a ridge, uh, you do double your defense if someone's attacking you on the ridge. Unless you're on a plateau. These are plateaus with these lighter lines around them. And you can see they're all surrounded by a ridge. Over here, this is a plateau in here. There is a plateau along this line here. Now, if you're on a plateau and you're firing into a ridge, you don't get that, they don't get to use their, their double um, defense. Also, there's a plateau here with the ridge around that. So that's how that's used. All right, so they move. I'm still staying stuck in <laughs> Tobruk with those guys. These guys can move in. Let's move them. They'll do a strategic move. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. They're coming in for some help for Tobruk. All right, there's no battle phase. There's no combat phase for them. Um, now, uh, I didn't check la the allied uh, line of supply needs to be 15. So what is actually the line of uh, the supply line? Well, let me read that for you. Axis supply sources are any Western board hex. So any Western board hex, Benghazi, which is here, Tobruk, well, or Benghazi or Tobruk if friendly. So Tobruk right here, Benghazi if friendly. Right now they're both friendly. We did go through to Benghazi with one of the Italian uh, units. So Benghazi is friendly to the Axis. So you have to trace your line back. Allied supply sources are any Eastern board hex, that's over here, uh, or Benghazi or Tobruk if friendly. So 
So units of both size that are within one hex of a friendly controlled city are always in supply. And a player controls it if he occupies it, of course. Or if it is out of enemy zone of control and he was last to occupy it, that's fine. Axis units which have exited the map need to, of course, follow line control. So it's 15 hexes. And this line can be no longer than 15 hexes, but must not pass through enemy units or their zone of controls and end at a friendly supply source or road hex. So of course, these guys are within 15 to Brook. These guys right here are in Tripoli. They're fine. Let's look at the allies. So they have to track 15, but not go through this zone, zone control. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're on a road. The roads can be any length. They can trace that all the way back, of course, to Alexandria. So they're in, in supply. These, of course, are, are in supply. So we don't really have to worry about those, but you are supposed to check every turn. Um, so the Axis have moved, the Allies have moved. Turn two is over. Let's move on to turn three. Now turn three, we're gonna roll for initiative again. One to four is the allies, it's three. Allies get to move first again. So far, so far, no big deal. So on turn three, um, the allies can only utilize one hurricane. Put that baby right there. Also, this symbol here indicates that there is replacements on turn three. And if you look up here, we do have a replacement. All right. And that's going to come in now. On the allies side, they come in in Alexandria and they come in for free and they can move however they want. So I'm gonna leave that there while we do this. Also, um, the allies get one infantry replacement. I'll pull it off here. This is an infantry replacement. He's going to come in here in Alexandria as well. All right. Also, now after you look at the turn record track, then you look at your order of battle. On the third turn order of battle, we see here we have a withdrawal. When you have a black line around a box, that means it's a withdrawal. So we are withdrawing the fourth, which I believe is right here. So that's gonna cut me down. So when you withdraw, it just comes right off the board, unless it's surrounded, in which case, you have to take off somebody else. But then it will just take its place. So it comes off. Now it comes off as a 3-6, but you see here it says turn 12. So it comes back on in turn 12 as a 4-6. So I'm just going to put it there. So that will be coming back into play on the 12th turn. Well, that puts a little damper on things. Now what am I going to do with my hurricane <clears throat> this turn? Well, I'm going to be able to destroy this through an overrun, uh, no problem. And I probably will be able to destroy this one as an overrun as well. Oh, I'm not going to want to attack. That's four. That's ten. But I'm going to try to surround him. We're only in turn three. All right, what am I going to do? This guy can get off the ridge now. Like six and ten. I'm trying to su surround to Brook with the most, you know, the most I can. Now, 
That doesn't count as anything for a stack. Um, I think I might be able to stack these babies. Yeah, head, a headquarters doesn't count as um, in, in the stacking. So I'm gonna try to be a little creative with this, this, these dudes here. I'm gonna put my hurricane on here, on Tobruk. Let's do this guy first. These guys, Good thing these uh, counters are so big, I can just use my fingers and I don't have to use tongs. All right, so there's 10. He's gonna move here, one in his movement. This is a one, that's 10 to one, that's more than nine to one. He gets overrun. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. 10, 10 to one, he gets eliminated one I'm still on the road one two three now I'm in zone of control this guy can move six one two three four five one two three four five yeah perfect these guys are gonna go off the ridge. One, one, two, three, four, five, two, one, two. They're in zone of control. These replacements are gonna come with me. One, two, three, four, five, one, one, two, three, four, five, two, one, two. I'm gonna drop them off just for safety. Yeah, I'm gonna drop them off back here. Two, three, four. Now I can stack here because all I had here was a, a army headquarters, which doesn't count for stacking. I have uh, the seventh, which is a division. You can have two divisions. And then the 21st is a brigade two brigades make a, a division, so I can stack that there as well. All right, we're going to do our combat now. Now I can, since they're both in zone of control on this one, I can add them all up. So I've got seven, eight, nine, 10, and 10 is 21 against four. And we're attacking to Brook. All right, now I almost forgot before I go into this combat phase, I still can do a movement. I did bring in uh, the first here. Now they can move uh, in Port of Alexandria, Allied home base. There's no cost to come in and they can move on the turn that they come in. They just can't do a strategic movement, but I can move them. So let me get them moved. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. 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 One, two, three, four. I think we'll hold off there with them. Also, this is not as fortuitous as I was thinking. I, I just remembered. So these units in Tobruk, because they are in a port, their defense is double. So now I've got 21 to 8, which is 2 to 1. 
Wow. 22 to 8 is 2 to 1. So 2 to 1 is not great odds. Well, victory goes to the bold, I guess. You know what I'm going to do? <coughs> Excuse me. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it the biscuit. I don't know that this is really what you know I should do. But I can utilize one of the optional rules here. And that is maximum effort. So if I use maximum effort here, oh geez, you roll one die, one to two, maximum effort succeeds. I get to shift the odds column to the right, two spaces to the right. That's huge. That's all the way over to, oh, let me say one, two is a four to one. That gives me a lot better results. But if I don't, if I roll a three to six, the maximum effort fails. I shift the odds one column to the left and, oh no, plus one attacker step loss. One attacker step loss. So I would move it one to the left Oh my goodness. That's a risk. Should I risk it? I'm going to risk it just for gameplay. We're playing a game. Let's see if we can crush them. If we can take over to Brook, that would be amazing. I don't think it's going to happen this turn, but oh, who knows? Let's see what's going to happen here. So I use maximum effort. I have to roll uh oh jesus i need a, a one or two to be successful what, what else can i do i can do tactical advantage i'm gonna try it let's do it maximum effort and i rolled a five which sucks but i can use tactical advantage tactical advantage says the possessor which starts with the allies uh, force one re-roll of any die. New result must be accepted. All right, now I'm going to use another optional rule. I'm going to use tactical advantage to re-roll this roll. Let's see what happens. Oh, very close. <laughs> I got a three. I still fail. I have to take that. And now tactical advantage now goes in the hands of the Axis. Maximum effort failed oh that sucks so <laughs> i have to oh my goodness so when it fails um you shift the odds one column to the left and plus one attacker step loss so <laughs> i went from a two to one to a one to one which is horrible let's roll that i got a five one to one five is attacker <laughs> loses one step so now i lose an additional step so i lose two steps oh my gosh i've got to spread it out evenly oh man if i get rid of that he's gone that moves down to a five. Oh my gosh that moves on five six seven so i lose two that's two anyways all right i'm gonna lose the 21st Bum, bum, ba, ba. And this guy is going to go down. He's going to be reduced. And the hurricane was, didn't help me out too much. Well, that's how hard it is to attack a port. That's kind of cool. Well, we figured that out anyways. <clears throat> that really sucked. All right. So that was the uh, Allies turn, turn three. So now we're going on to the Axis turn, turn three, which is awesome because there's nothing on the turn record track for turn three for the Axis. Also, there is, um, yeah, and there's nothing on their order of battle for turn three, 
but we do get to roll on the Axis Infantry replacement and fuel table um, starting turn three. So let's do that. What do we get? Now, uh, if you look here, it says segment A. So we're still in segment A through turn eight. So we roll on the segment A chart, which is right here. And I rolled a one. So the Italians do get one um, infantry replacement. The Germans don't get anything, but the fuel goes up six. That's awesome for them. Now they're all the way up to seven. And the, uh, sorry, the Italians get an infantry replacement. That's pretty awesome for them as well. So let's give them an infantry replacement here. And that will come in here. I can't bring replacements in Benghazi, but I don't need to. Let's just bring them in here with these guys. And they can move. Uh, replacements can move. All right. And so, yeah, we're on turn three. This is the axis turn. And what are they going to do? Well, now they, when you're in a port, there is not a zone of control. So if you're in a zone of control, you can choose to attack. Um, of course, you'd have to defend, but you can do that either way. So the Italians don't necessarily have to attack these guys here. Um, and I've got a bunch here. I've got, well, one, two, four. This is nine. Let's move these guys. Let's see how far I can move them. They're in here now, so I can do a um, strategic move. So let's do that. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. The tank can continue. only one hmm well, that's not great but now I have a wall here so I'm protected here so these guys would have to go around and they're kind of blocked by this ridge they're gonna stay put but these guys are going to do an end around here. They're going to go and they're going to use their strategic movement. One, two, three, four. They're going to get up here on this plateau. They're going to stay there. These guys have already moved. They're going to stay. All right. All right. So they're not going to attack. So Brooke is just gonna hold the wall and try to defend. These guys could try to get around here. All right, so that's the end of turn three. Let's go to turn four. Turn four now, we get to roll for initiative. And roll to one. So the allies continue to hold initiative. They do get one hurricane this turn, and in turn four, they do get some reinforcements. So they got the second and the 22 GDS. They're gonna come in over here. I have no problems, of course, uh, tracing the supply lines still. 
let's go ahead. All right, what are the Allies going to do now? Well, they can attack again. What is this guy going to do? I can come over here and do a replacement. All right, that guy's gonna move into a replacement. One, two, three, four, five, one, you can move six. So I'm going to replace, do a replacement here, bump him back up to a five, put that back up on here for now. What else am I gonna do? This guy's going to Probably move down here. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I can stack in there. Yep, he's gonna move in here and stack in here. One, two, three, four. Yep, that still has money, which doesn't count to the stacking. And the first there is a brig, uh, brigade. So now I have a brigade, a division, and a headquarters. So I'm still in good with stacking there. All right, we're going to attack again. And I don't get tactical advantage this turn. That's fine, but what do we have? We have seven, eight, nine, ten. I have one hurricane. Ten and ten is twenty. That's not going to help anything, but I am going to put it over here. And that's going to make it so they can only move half, do a half movement this next turn. One isn't going to help me with my odds here. I have 20, again, 20 to eight, um, two to one, two to one odds. I'm not going to do the maximum effort this time. Two to one odds, what do we get? And we got a three, so two to one, three. So the attacker, loses one and has to retreat. That sucks. And the defender loses two and has to retreat. Now, if you're a defender and you're in a port, you do not have to retreat. So the defender is going to lose two, one, two. But uh, the attacker loses one. Oh, geez, I just moved that dude in there. Get down to a four from a five. So I'm going to lose one there. And then they have to retreat. And I have to retreat two because it's a, a D with a number. Oh, wait. No, it's an attacker retreat. All right, I'm gonna retreat two. You have to treat retreat on your your uh, line. One, two, and one, two. All right. I think I'm only gonna retreat one. All right, well, that's the uh, allied turn. Now we get to the axis turn. What are we gonna do? These guys can only do half movement. So what does that mean? So that's an 
Interdiction. A player may assign any number of boat for close to four interdiction enemy units. The area unit is placed on the top of the enemy unit to be interdicted. The movement of all units in the hex is halved for their next movement phase, and no unit in the stack may use strategic movement. Well, these can move three, and these can only move one. So I think I'm still going to use the three. One, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four, two, one, two, three, four, three. And they get to move two. One, we'll move them along the road as well. Oh, you know what? They're going to go this way. One, well, one, two, three, four, five. They can only move one. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to move them up along the road. So that hurricane did his job. They're going to stay put. I can bring, I'm bringing replacements. These guys are nine, one, two, three, four. That's one to two. That's not very good. But I can slow them. Well, they can go there, but then that would block them out. They'd have to stop. I'm still going to move these guys. They're, they're going to go. One, two. They're going to stop right there. They're on a plateau. They are on a road, so they can get off that road. They can come through there. They've got four. Ten. Okay. So they move there. They move there. They move there. No fighting. That's the end of turn four. All right. Let's move on to turn five. Let's roll for initiative. Oh, it's a four. Initiative is, if I can remember, one to four is allies. So, so the allies still get to go first again. So let's look on here. What do they get? They get one hurricane. Now they do get a, well, let, let, let's read the, the order. So reinforcement, uh, first you do initiative, then reinforcement and withdrawal phase. So we look on the order of battle and for turn five, there are some, oh wait, yeah, there are some replacements. They come in down here. It's the 70th and the 9th. They're going to come in here. I didn't move those guys. Also, Replacements. What is, uh, Allied infantry replacement. I get one infantry replacement. So I'm going to put one of those in here as well. So I get one infantry replacement, one hurricane. And I get uh, reinforcements on turn five. Now, what else can you do on turn five? So starting on turn five, the allied player may call for a minefield. Now, you can do this up to three times uh, per game. And what my goal is, I'm thinking, if I can get to Brook, then I'm going to set up minefields around to Brook. 
I don't think I'm going to use it now. I can do it three times throughout the game, so I don't think I'm going to utilize it now. Of course, the Axis get the same option on their turn. So, they may set up some... <laughs> They've got a wall here, so I can't go there. They don't want to move in here, but anyways, let's finish the ally turns. Tur allies, allied turn. I can move, I'm gonna move a replacement here. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna use that to move them back up to their full strength. That's cool. I think I'm gonna try to knock these guys back a little bit. Let's move off the ridge. One, two. Oh, I'm gonna put the hurricane on here. I'm also going to, well, let's see. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that yet. Let me see what the odds are. These are gonna go one, stay on the road, two. These are going to move, they can move six. One, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, two. One, two, three, four, three. One, two, three, four, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, six. can remove six as well. They're going to move, so that's six. They're going to utilize their strategic move and go one, two, three, four, Five, six. They're gonna go down here. Why? Because I said so. All right. So that's all my movement for there. Now we get, we are gonna put. Let me see what we have here. We have seven, eight, nine, ten, and ten is twenty. So one isn't going to help unless two, three, four. So one isn't going to help. I'm going to delay these guys here. They can only move half. And we're going to have some combat here. So again, 79, 10, and 10. One movement point for Attacking from the plateau into a ridge, how can I gauge a bonus defense? So, one, two, three, four, 20 to four, five to one. Five to one is a good, good deal. Two, five to one. Oh shit, I rolled a two. I don't have tactical advantage, so a two on a five to one is attacker loses one step, defender loses one step, and retreats. So defender's going to lose a step again. I mean attacker. And the defender is going to lose... one stay alive and they're going to retreat they have to retreat two they have to retreat closer to their supply line they're going to go one two all right now it's the axis turn all right so on the axis turn we are uh turn five so First off, we do reinforcement and the fuel phase. We're still in segment A. 
two, one Italian replacement and five more fuel. One, two, three, we can't go over 10, so we have 10 fuel, doing great with fuel right now. We do get one Italian replacement. Um, uh, one Italian replacement. So where are they? I'm going to, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna grab this one here. And I'm gonna try to come in with my replacement in the port of Benghazi. So I have to roll a die once to enter or leave. One to four is a success. Five is delayed. Six is sunk. And it's a three, so it's a success. So the replacement comes in here at the port of Benghazi. All right. All right, what else happens on turn five? All right, so the the um, Axis gets some re reinforcements. And what do we get? We do get Rommel. Rommel Rommel's coming in. So we've got Rommel. Neat. I'm sorry if you're hearing a lot of noises. There's sirens going on outside. There's also, it's the heat index in Florida today is 112 or more. And the air, you may hear the air conditioning kicking on, but uh, I wouldn't be able to really survive, I don't think, without it today. So let's bring these babies on. They can move like heck. Holy crap. All right, so they come in over here in the port of Tripoli. Now, it costs two to, to come into the port of Tripoli, so that's a normal move. So if you, you can still move, you can do a non-strategic movement, it's permitted up to the unit's full movement allowance, but fuel is then required. But we've got tons of fuel, and I have Rommel, I have the third, and um, Ariette, I think that's how you say it. Now, they can move up to 10, Rommel and the third, but Ariette can only move six. But I can do non-strategic if I wait, if I use the fuel, and, and I can do that no problem. So, all right. So let's start moving these guys. Well, I think that's what we're going to do. We're still, <clears throat> they can still move three, and they're on the road. So if they go one, two, three, four five and then they're going to get off the road here that's still only only two and that means they don't have to use fuel this dude he is going to move uh strategic movement so he can move four one two three four five one one two three four five two one, two, three, four, five, three, and four. He's gonna stack. That's used. Move, move that guy back out of there. We're fine with stacking limits here. This guy, well, he's got a two. He can move six. So they're going to drop off. The replacement's going to go here. Replace that unit back to full. That's cool. Put that there. Now I can start doing some stuff here. These guys are going to make a wall. They're going to go one. Two. Hmm. Three, four, 
I'm being a little cheeky here. I'm going to see what I can do with Rommel here. He can move 10. He can move 20. This can only move 12. Let's see how far we just we can move just this guy. One, two, three, four, five. That's one, two, three, four. Non-strategic movement permitted up two units full movement allowance, but fuel. So movement allowance is six. <clears throat> non-strategic movement permitted, not strategic movement, but non-strategic movement permitted up to the full movement, but it says two to come on. Three, four, five, six. But it cost me a fuel. These guys were two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, they're not going to go there. They're going to go back here. I'm not going to be that cheeky. And it cost me another fuel because they moved the total. Their non it cost two to come on. They had a total of ten. They can use their non-strategic movement permitted, but they have to use a fuel, which we use the fuel. We use the fuel for them to move them up a ways. These dudes uh, can move seven. One, two, three, four, five. One, one, two, three, four, five, two. One, two, three, four, five, three. Um, one, two, three, four, five, three. And I can replace them so I can bolster them back, one of them back up there. All right. Well, that's what happens. Turn five, Rommel comes in. Now we're gonna start to do a defense. I was not successful in getting to Brook like I wanted to. Oh, that just didn't work out as I wanted to do. But we got some, some fun going on here. I'm not, go I don't have any combat. All right, that's the end of turn five. Sweet. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and stop this first video here at turn five. We're going into turn six next. And the Axis is gonna get some more replacements. The Allies get no new replacements. Now it's going to start getting interested. interesting. This is what happened actually in the real uh, Afghan campaign. Once Rommel came in, then it started getting a little hairy for the Allies, but they were able to hold on. All right, let's stop here. Um, oh, it was turn five. I'm not going to have the uh, Axis take any mines yet as well. All right, guys. Uh, we're going to take a break here, a little intermission, and I'll see you in the next report coming up soon. Thanks.